Hello guys, today I am going to prove abortion is an act of manslaughter. Now why am I making this video? Because I can. That's the only reason I need to make it. Secondly though, I suppose, just because I've seen people on the internet claim it's not manslaughter. So... I'm going to prove them wrong. Now, I'm a person who doesn't have any morals. I'm a person who understands there is no such thing as right or wrong, that, it's, that those two things are basically opinions. So I have essentially a neutral perspective on this matter known as abortion. I do not support it, but I do not go against it. So if a woman wants to have an abortion, she can have an abortion. It's her body. She's the one making the decision. So, you know, she can have an abortion if she wants to. And if she doesn't want to have an abortion, if she wants to have the baby, fine. But I'm just making this video because I can, and to prove those people who say it's not manslaughter or an act of manslaughter. It, it, it is an act of manslaughter. So first of all, we need to define manslaughter. That way, you know, we have a clear definition. The crime of killing a human being without malice, a forethought, or in circumstances not amounting to murder. So basically, you know, manslaughter is killing a man or a woman, killing a human. And it's not always illegal. It can be illegal, but it's not always illegal. So why do I have these diagrams in front of me? Well, partially, you know, I was going to use real photos or photos of real people. But then I wanted to have a, a sort of neutral perspective on this. I didn't want to have a person that we can that we can actually identify on here. So I just used some photos, some diagrams that were drawn. That way we can't say, hey, the person, the, the photograph has this particular person. So, here's a, here is a zygote. Here is an infant. Here is a child. And here is an adult. Now, since these are drawings, it's uh, a fictitious, these are fictitious, right? Because none of these actually represent a real human. They represent humans in general, but they don't represent a specific person. So, let's just say that all of these photos are of a person, but they were taken in, you know, different time periods. So, you know, this was the start of his life. This is whenever he's an infant. This is him as a child. And this is him as an adult. We'll call this person Bob. So the way I can prove this is that abortion is an act of manslaughter is let's say we were to abort Bob whenever he was a zygote. So, you know, we cross out the zygote, it's gone. So now all of these are crossed out because if we kill that zygote, well, then these can never form. Why? Because the zygote is arguably the most important cell any person ever has. Because if that cell is destroyed, then the person can not, you know, fully develop. It's like trying to grow a tree with a destroyed acorn. You just can't do it. If you destroy the acorn, it can never become a tree. So it's manslaughter because you are killing a person. I'm not going to follow some arbitrary rules where we say, Oh, a person is a person whenever he's so, so old. No, a person is a person whenever his or her DNA, his, his or her unique DNA is formed. And when his or her first cell is created, and that's what a zygote is. It's his or her first cell with his or her unique DNA. A person is a person when he or she it's a zygote, and from then on, it shall always be considered a human. Now, I'm not going to say it's a fully formed human. A zygote is not a fully formed human. An infant is not a fully formed human. 
and a child is not a fully formed human. But the wrong person's there. You see, the question is, how do you kill a man or a woman? Well, you have to destroy all of his or her cells, or you have to destroy some of his or her cells. So, the first way, we just kill all of the person's cells. How can we do that? Well, we can do that with all of these stages. I can simply destroy the zygote. Boom, person's killed. I can burn this baby alive. All the cells are destroyed. I killed the infant. I can burn this child alive. Yeah. The thing is, the, the person is dead. Hell, I can drop a nuke on this adult. And all of his cells are destroyed as well. So I've killed them. But whenever you are older, whenever you are old enough to be more, to have more cells than just one cell, I can then use the second way to kill you. I can kill some of your cells. So of course, a zygote is only one cell, so you only ever have the option of either destroying all of the cells or not destroying all of the cells. You either destroy it or you don't. But with an infant, you know what I could do with an infant? I could destroy his brain, not give him any medical treatment, he would die. I could destroy the brain of a child and not give him any medical treatment, the child would die. And the same thing goes with the adults, I can destroy the adult's brain, not give him any medical treatment, and the adult will die. So, I only destroyed some of the cells, but those are very special cells, those are brain cells. You destroy the brain, you kill the person. Now, of course, I know you can use technology to keep the vegetable alive, but that's why I mentioned I, I'm not going to treat him. I need medical assistance, I'm not going to assist him at all. The person will die. If your brain dies, and you're hooked up to any machines, you'll die. Your body won't be able to control your heart rate or anything else, so you'll just die. You won't be able to control breathing, and you'll die. So yes, abortion is manslaughter. If you kill that one zygote, you kill the person. Because you are destroying a person's cells. Or in this instance, for the zygote, all of the person's cells. Because it only has one cell. And if you only destroy that one cell, well, you've killed an entire person. An entire person, person that consists of one cell. Person is a person when his or her unique DNA is formed and his or her first cell comes into existence. So the zygote is. Whenever an ovum cell and a sperm cell unite, they form a zygote cell, and that's whenever a person is created. That's the first stage, though. These are the latter stages. Because this is not a fully formed human, this is not a fully formed human, and this is not a fully formed human. And if you think you can disprove what I have stated in this video, by all means, post a comment calling me stupid or something else. Or giving me some arbitrary measurement of what a person can actually be considered to be a person. Because a person is a person whenever he or she is a zygote. Because again, that's when the person's DNA is formed. Uh, it's unique. No one else has that DNA. And it's that person's self. So again, I don't have any morals. I have nothing. I'm, I'm not going to oppose abortion just because it's a manslaughter. If anything, I only oppose it because I don't like feminists. So, don't know what else to say. All right, I'll finish, I'll finish off with this. Abortion is an act of manslaughter. Farewell.